Golden Edge crew here at T-Mobile Arena, where the Golden Knights fell in a shootout 3-2 to the Vancouver Canucks. Not a great effort from the Golden Knights after three consecutive wins. The winning streak comes to an end. They do pick up a point, but Dave, just a really uneven effort, especially for the first two periods. Yeah, yeah uneven, that's probably a good word. Uh, it, it was weird. They went like 11 minutes in the first period without even a, a shot on goal. And then all of a sudden you look up and they outshot him at the end of the first period. And kind of the same thing in the second. You know, they get out to the one nothing lead. And then they give up two goals in like a 104 span, both to Bo, Bo Horvat. And then they're able to kind of fight back. They played a, pr a pretty good third period. Uneven, yeah. It, it, that's probably the word that, you know, you just keep coming back to. But I think more than anything, it's just kind of a missed opportunity for the Knights. Canucks were beat up. No Brock Besser, no Elias uh, Pedersen. They lost like two or three guys during the game, uh, and the Knights weren't able to take advantage. I think that's maybe kind of the story is just, you know, missed opportunity. A missed opportunity. They only get one point out of this game. Homestand continues with a huge game against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Last year, that was a massive game, a, a key point for the Golden Knights with a late victory, and they went on to have some confidence after beating one of the contenders uh, in uh, the NHL. Now they get another shot at day game Friday. They won't have Nate Schmidt in the lineup. He's still out. But, Ben, as we found out after the game, they will have Nate Schmidt for a long time in a Golden Knights uniform. Yeah, through the 2024-2025 season, the Knights signed Nate Schmidt to a six-year contract extension after the game, or at least it was announced after the game today. Schmidt is actually still in Vienna, Austria, skating with the Vienna Capitals because he's serving a 20-game suspension for violating the NHL's uh, substance abuse policy. But he seemed really happy in a Twitter video that sent out. He said he's very excited to be here for six more years. He's very excited to get back and play with the fans. And I'm sure the Knights will be excited to have him back too. He's a guy that general manager George McPhee said, everyone's looking for this type of defenseman. He's really improved his game defensively. He brings some offense. He's a really good skater. And now he's going to be around for a while. Yeah, a little less than a month away. The Knights will have to continue to make do without him. They did get a little closer to being healthy, though, today. Alex Tuck returns, jumps in on that second line. Second line actually scored a goal first time this year that Patrick and Hallow were on the ice together uh, for a five-on-five -five goal. So that's progress. Power play. Not great again tonight, did not score, and uh, even with Alex Tuck back on that top power play line, didn't have a whole lot of success, but they think the chances are there. They'll continue to look for them Friday, 3 p.m. a day game here at T-Mobile. We'll be out of here bright and early, maybe late breakfast here at T-Mobile Arena for us, uh, but we'll talk to you then after that one. Uh, check out the ReviewJournal.com for everything you need to know about the Golden Knights, including an update on that Nate Schmidt contract, and we'll talk to you guys again real soon.